Good morning, good afternoon to some, good evening to some. I wanted to come on here and release a prayer into the atmosphere and into your households. Um, today, I want to strictly ch target a godly wisdom so that we can defeat whatever that has been trying to defeat us, whether that be infirmities, uh, hatred, hurt, uh, brokenness, uh, dysfunctional relationships, generational curses. Uh, broken system, uh, injustice, whatever it is that has been trying to defeat you. We want to release a prayer into the atmosphere that God will help us to overcome those things that he has already overcame for us. So if you can, everybody bow your heads in prayer. We want to release this prayer into the atmosphere. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you first and foremost for another day that you've graced us with. Thank you for new mercies you are allowing us to see within this day. Thank you for your love, your kindness. Thank you for showing us the way. Thank you for never leaving us. Father, we repent now for any ungodliness that we have done, we've said, we've thought of that wasn't pleasing unto you. God, we pray that you would daily cleanse us and purify us from anything that could keep us from being who you created us to be. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, our prayer today is that you would teach us your ways because we understand that your ways produces permanent results. Father, we have questions. We have situations that only you can give us the answer to. Only you can give us the manifestations to. Father, we believe and we trust your lead. We trust your instructions. Lord, take us where you already know where to go and do through us what you already know to do. Show us where, show us when, show us how. Just as you did J David, Jehoshaphat, Esther, Abraham, Isaac, Moses, Joshua. Father, you are that same God. We're praying to now and we ask you for help. Help us to overcome what you've already overcame for us. We're listening, we're attentive, we're sensitive, and we're open to hear your voice. And Father, we thank you. And Father, we glorify you because we know that you're answering our prayers now. We thank you for the peace. We thank you, Lord, for the love that you are releasing all across the nations into the households of your people. We thank you that nothing can keep us from where you have designed and orchestrated for us to be. We thank you that you're giving us the strength, you're gracing us with everything that we need to overcome those things that has been trying to overcome us. No, we have the victory. Thank you, Lord, for giving us what we need. And we praise you now that it is so, it is well, and is done. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to know that you have already overcame it. God has already given you what you needed to defeat that thing. People of God, we are in a time where we have to daily ask God for his wisdom, daily ask God for his strategies so that we can make sure that we are operating where he wants us to be. We got to operate in love because love is what operates the blessing. Love is what keeps you in that position that God wants you to be. You got to daily ask God to give you his wisdom. Ask God to give you what you need so that you can make sure that you are absolutely the enemy does not want to see us prospering. The enemy does not want to see us where God has for us. But the devil is a liar. I stand to declare that God is with us. I stand to declare that God is for us. And as you begin to daily release God's word, as you begin to daily release your faith and have a stronger prayer life, you will see God move. You will see God manifest his word on your behalf. You got to know that God has already given you what you needed so that you can overcome those challenges that you face in your everyday life. God is too great. God is too big. God is too mighty, too faithful to leave his children in a faith.
famine, to leave his children in a deserted, deserted place. You've got to know again that God is with us. I declare that the love of Jesus is being released on a greater level to his people all across this world. Even now, God is wrapping his arms around you. Receive the love of Jesus. Receive what God is doing. Receive the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Receive what God is doing in your life. And I declare that you will never, ever be the same. I love you. God loves you. You continue to release the love of Jesus and know that God is at work for his children. He won't leave us. He won't fail us. But today, I just believe that God is manifesting new miracles. God will do something, and he is doing something that is so miraculous that none of us will be able to explain it. And it's happening now. And we will forever give God glory. We will forever give God honor because it is he that is making it happen. And God, we praise you. That is so. It is done, and it is well with our souls. God bless you, and you enjoy the rest of your day.